Welcome back to the program. But first to some of your stories in brief. We begin with some demands which have been made by three state governors when they visited President Mohamed Buhari, the governors of Imo, Lagos and Ogun State. Well, they're asking for a refund of funds spent to fix federal roads in Imo State, the transfer of the construction of some roads in Lagos and Ogun to the state governments and the dualization of some roads in Plateau State. The governors believe the granting of these requests will make the estates more economically viable and it will aid in the payment of salaries and promote peace in those states. Elsewhere, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission announced the arrest of Mr. Mohamed Aldu, son of a former governor of Kogi State, Abubakar Aldu, for his alleged involvement in fraud. The commission says the suspect was arrested February the 18th for allegedly diverting to his personal use funds donated to the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF. The EFCC claims its investigations revealed that the suspect allegedly used two of his companies, Mediterranean Hotels Limited and Mediterranean Sports, to divert the funds which he could not account for. The suspect, according to the commission, will soon be charged to court as soon as investigations are concluded. Elsewhere, we hear that the All Progressives Congress Unity Group, they're staging a peaceful demonstration in Abuja. This is in support of the party's chairman, Comrade, Ad Comrade Adams of Shomale. Now, the group insists that uh, those calling for the removal or his resignation um, as national chairman of the party are only out to destroy the party ahead of the 2023 general election. Some more stories now in the House of Representatives. Yesterday, lawmakers passed a resolution to ask the federal government to recruit more justices for the Supreme Court. The motion was raised as a matter of urgent public importance by the Chairman House Committee on Judiciary. According to uh, him, there are 13 Supreme Court justices who cannot constitute two panels, as seven justices are required by the Constitution to form a panel. As a result of its original and appellate jurisdiction over the entire country, the Supreme Court is faced with the huge responsibility of handling volume of cases with minimal number of justices. Mr. Speaker, the Urugu Protective Bill, you are setting up a bill to a territorial zone that have already a protective bill. At this point, no member can speak against any bill at the second reading, but rather speak on the merits and the merits and the general principles of the bill. Federal character principles rest on the spirit of equity, justice, and fairness. No, you are, you, are, you are trying to mislead the house. That's why I'm here to guide you. I'm supposed to guide you. No, I'm supposed to guide you. No, you are quoting wrongly. Thank you. I'm being very fair to you. Please take your seat. Please take your seat. I think if we can establish more and more institutions and if the government can fund it, so be it. Elsewhere on insecurity, the federal government is insisting that President Mohamed Buhari will not resign over challenges of insecurity in the country. The Minister of Information and Culture, Mr. Lai Mohamed, says government will also not go back on its plans to regulate the social media. The country is facing security challenges, and the challenges have been tackled headlong. However, there have been some red hearings in recent times, including those calling for the resignation of Mr. President. I want to advise our commentators, especially political and just leaders, to be very careful at this time not to aggravate the situation with incendiary comments, comments that cast on our religious, ethnic, and political fault lines to further divide the country. The kind of comments that have been attributed to some leaders recently, especially religious leaders, are incendiary and reckless. Leaders should be part of solutions to problems rather than aggravating situations.
Well, staying with insecurity for Nigeria to completely win the war against insurgency, the country requires fresh injection of about 100,000 soldiers. This is according to the Bornu state governor, Professor Babagana Zulum. He suggests that half of that number of recruits should come from Bornu state to prosecute the ongoing war against terror. He said this when the House of Representatives Committee on Defense visited him in Meduguri, insisting that the war against insurgency cannot be won without adequate deployment of manpower, technology, and funding. I think there is need for you to now give the ban on the usage of some certain weapons on paramilitary in the Northeast for a certain period of time. After the insurgency is over, then you can also fall back to normal position. This is also something which I think is very important. The recruitment of locals kindly inform the speaker as well as the Senate President that they should advise the federal government to, to do mass recruitment of up to 100,000 into the Nigerian army. How? How? They should come and recruit the locals, irrespective of whether they have the Western education or not. <laughs> what was done during the Civil War? During the Civil War, many were recruited. And after some few years, after the Civil War, they demobilized them. I think this is the only solution. We need to recruit nothing more than 50,000 people. From Borno State, we have able bodied men and women that can join the Nigerian armed forces on an ad hoc basis. They can be trained and retrained. Apart from this one, also, you can also go back, restress your skills, and then look for the retired military personnel, police men, and inject into the system. And just before we go, the chairman of INEC is promising critical changes for the conduct of the Edo and Undo states' governorship elections. The promise was made at a meeting with the INEC chairman and state resident electoral commissioners today at the INEC headquarters in Abuja. That's our program this afternoon. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. I'll see you soon.